Welcome to the channel. If you're a fan of Formula One, you might have heard commentators and pundits use the terms understeer and oversteer. In this video, we will explore what these words mean in the context of Formula One. Let's get started. Understeer and oversteer are terms used to describe the sensitivity of a vehicle to steering. Oversteer happens when a car steers by more than the amount intended by the driver. Understeer occurs when a car steers less than the amount commanded by the driver. Let's look at the basic science behind oversteer and understeer. Let's start with the slip angle. The slip angle is the angle between the direction in which a wheel is pointing and the direction in which it is actually traveling. As you can see in the image, when a driver turns the steering wheel to the right, the forces of the wheel are going straight, but the wheel is now pointing to the right, creating a slip angle. Neutral steer happens when the slip angle of the front and back tires are the same. Understeer happens when the front tires have a larger slip angle than the back tires. So when a driver says I'm having a lot of understeer in a particular corner, what he means is that he cannot get the front of the car to turn and therefore the car is taking a wider angle than what is optimal. Understeer also occurs when an F1 driver locks his front tires. In this situation, he cannot get the front tires to turn and has to go straight missing the corner or has to take a suboptimal wider angle to regain control of the car. Oversteer happens when the back tires have a larger slip angle than the front tires. You might have heard commentators say, wow, he experienced a big snap of oversteer. What this means is that the car went into a slide, most likely because the driver entered the corner with a little too much speed. When an F1 car or any other car is drifting, the car is essentially oversteering. While drifting is a good strategy in some forms of racing, such as rally car, it is not optimal in Formula 1. F1 cars are generally set up to understeer as it is more easy to regain control of the car and complete the turn. If the rear tires are unstable and there's a lot of oversteer, an F1 car can become undrivable and dangerous as it slides around. This is particularly true in a street circuit where there's little room for error. You might have heard drivers sending radio messages such as, car is undrivable, it's sliding around. Most likely, they're referring to the fact that there's a lot of oversteer in the corners. Oversteer and understeer can be corrected by fixing the setup of the car. Each Formula One driver has a different driving style and therefore prefers a different car setup. Teams use the three practice sessions before the qualifying and race to perfect the setup. There are a lot of details to discuss when it comes to Formula One car setup. For this reason, I'll cover this topic in a separate video. The main takeaway is that it is not easy to get an F1 car to the sweet spot, where the driver is totally at one with the car. Teams and drivers spend several hours outside of what is shown in television, discussing and perfecting the setup. This is why they're paid in millions of dollars. If you enjoyed this video and would like to support this channel, consider the following. Shop using the affiliated links in the description below. There's some cool merchandise and I'll always be adding new things. Become a channel member. Channel members will get exclusive benefits. Details will be released soon. If you have done well for yourself and would like to support this channel, consider making a contribution. Link is in the description below. Proceeds gained from contributors will only be used for two purposes, making more videos and improving the quality of the videos. All channel members and contributors will be listed at the end of each video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.